Stuff squid day at the Grease Palace, but let me tell you something. While I ain't no gourmet cook, I haven't known to make some powerful food. I slice some onions for my chili, and then I add some pepper willy nilly, a little bit of butter for a nice brown glaze. I add some kale pectate for the old Bombay's. The last ingredient I'll add today, well, let me stand on a chair here and wail away. Oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. Oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. Oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. Well, I'll cook it up for an hour or two. I'll spend that time in hop on the go. Man, oh, man, you ought to see me drool as I wait for my chili to cool. If you really want to savor it, I'll show you how. As you tasted it, you might want to drop trowel. Because it'll be so good, you'll be tempted to wail away. And when a man is tempted to wail away, he don't want to be fumbling with buckles and buttons and the like. So you might want to eat that thing, trout drop. For convenience, no fuss, no muss, connoisseur. One thing while you eat to keep in mind, this chili's kind of hard on your big behind. Especially if you eat it with a strong cup of java. From the Bombays, they'll soon come lava. So if you've got a tendency to be a windbreaking man, you might want to eat the chili sitting on a can. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. Oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. Oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. Well, clean your tuckers with a bar of soap. Because soon you're going to need a proctoscope. Because once that chili really gets rolling, you'll have to retread your lower colon. Uh, the stench might just knock you right to the floor. So take your massive with your head out the door. Oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. Yeah. Oh, baby, I'm a redneck. Can't help it, I'm a redneck. It's the Grease Man from DC 101.